Hello again. Welcome back. Welcome back, my darlings. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. You know, I hope that Instagram does um, IGTV that's over an hour soon so that we can just hang out for as long as we want. Hello, my darlings. Hello, Millie. Um, have a drink. Probably need a toilet break soon, but I feel like we're going to be done in a little bit. Like, real soon, we're going to be done, this component. Hi, my loves. Look at these nipples. They're quite good, aren't they? Hmm. Welcome back. I've missed you. I've just been joining away here. Hello, my darlings. So... We're just going to continue joining our shapes. And when um, when I join, what I'm doing is I am pulling a little bit of clay um, from... Oh, I've got a sausage that's fallen. Um, I'm pulling a bit of clay from up here and I'm pulling it on to the bottom of the shape. So I am genuinely... I might go here where the light is. I'm genuinely joining um, this sausage to the bottom of my shape there and I've just got this little oh I've got two sausages we've had a casualty all right put those back there we go that's fine everything's all right everything's fine all right um so I'm going to continue what I was doing now the reason you don't want these to be too too short once again is because we're not going to have enough mud to pull over to join onto this shape here hello everyone love your work thanks for coming and to smooth it out I'm just going to use a little bit of water on my finger and I'm just going to smooth this little guy here once again I'm only smoothing and I'm only joining what I can see we're going to be joining the rest tomorrow but I'm not going to be with you tomorrow so I'm going to instruct you on what to do it's quite windy here I don't know if you can tell like all my hair in my face all right now I'm going to keep on annoyingly reminding you remember to score both sections now I want it to be how oh yeah probably about there Grabbing a little bit of my glue, my toothpaste glue, chucking it on there as per usual. And again, a little bit of force with my fingers. Hello, my darlings. And joining. That's why these tools are so good, they're quite cheap. Um, they're really, really good for any hand building clay work that you want to do. But also if you're like a wheel thrower, you'll probably have a set of these too. But excellent for your hand building stuff. But you can always just substitute them with a knife and a spoon. Okay. So that one's pretty joined. I'm going to spin that around. I'm just going to repeat the process until I am finito. I'm keeping a bit of a tab on where I'm placing these so they're kind of spaced apart the amount that I am happy with. How are the Negronis going, Joss? How are you travelling? Hi guys. Again, pressing a bit of force just so I can lock the shapes together. really get in as much as what I can as well I want to I know that I can't go all the way around to join the shape but I want to join as much as I can so really try for that if you can cool 
so I'm traveling okay. I've got two more to join and then I'm gonna actually join the top parts to the base. So this one's quite a repetitive, not in a bad way, it's kind of therapeutic. Repetitive motion. Now, I've said this once a thousand times and I'll say it again. This is a BRT mid-fire clay. So it's really important that whatever shapes you're bringing to um, your local kiln, you need to let them know that it's a BRT mid-fire clay, Feenies. Um, I've got it written on the website, um, in the toolkit section. Um, I've got it um, written in a number of places on the FAQ section, the how-to section um, in Instagram uh, so that you know exactly what clay this is because that indicates to the kiln person um, how what temperature they're going to be firing it at and the, um, the special speckle f freckle glaze that um, I get you guys to use. You can use whatever you want. You can get your glaze from wherever. You don't have to get it from me. Um, I'm still giving it a go. Awesome, darling. Um, you don't have to get it from me. Then um, you that's actually specific to the clay that you're using as well. So both of those are fired at the same temperature. So you want to let your kiln person know that it is a mid-fire clay, BRT, and a cone six glaze. Cone six just indicates the heat as well, the temperature about like 1,280 degrees, which is pretty hot. Hi darlings. Just joining that section there and then I've got my last little guy here that I'm joining. Oh, I need a toilet break. Now mine are spaced apart relatively evenly but I've only used my eye for that, so I'm sure if I was to measure, it wouldn't be perfect. Again, pressing down, creating a bit of force here so that I actually do have clay um, to join at the bottom. So I'm pressing that down and I'm joining this to this here. Okay. Are there different types of glazes? How do you know which glaze can be used? Great question. Um, hi, darling. Um, so there are many different types of glazes. You've got under glazes, you've got over glazes, or you've just got glazes. Um, the glaze that I love to use is an, uh, an oyster color. So it's an off, an off white um, speckle. So you can see here, you've got a bit of gloss there, um, but there's a lot of speckle or trachyte that comes through, um, which is partially the clay, but it's also the glaze. So both the clay and the glaze have trachyte in it, which is just the freckle that um, pulls through the white. Uh, so there are many different types of um, glazes that you can use. I just, I just like that one. I just like to use that one. I think that's really nice. But you can have any color you want really with a glaze. You just have to make sure that it matches your clay uh, temperature. So a cone six, any cone six glaze is gonna be fine with this clay that you're using at the moment. So you can speak to, say you wanted to do this like blue or pink or green or black even. You could speak to um, your kilnster, your clay person, the person that you're going to um, fire your work and you just say, hey, I'm using a BRT mid-fire clay here, um, but I really want to do a matte black finish on it. I want to have a matte black glaze or whatever color you want. I've got a hair in that. Um, and then they can, recommend, um, they can recommend a glaze to you, or you can buy them online as well. So you don't have to use the um, glaze. It's so windy out here. You don't have to use the glaze that I use. I just like it and I popped it on the website because people were asking so I have um, I've joined all the bottoms 
of my shape at the moment. Um, what do we got? Hello, darlings. Um, and now I want to join the tops. So the way I'm actually going to do that is I'm going to pinch or press um, this down here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm pressing this down, but I'm not actually, um, I'm not actually joining it as yet. I'm just pressing these parts of the shape down and then I'm going to use the same method as what we've been using all along to actually join. We're almost done, guys. How amazing. Um, oh, cool. Thank you. No worries, darling. Um, so what, I, what I've done is I've just mushed these down and then I'm going to be picking them up um, and I'm actually going to be uh, creating the join that we've been doing all along. Because if I was just to press these in, again, you're um, joining two flat surfaces, so they'd likely um, pull apart when you uh, when it dried. So I'm just I'm just going to score this part here. I'm going to use a little bit of slip, our glue. Again, that might even be too much. Just pop a little bit back, and then I'm going to be mushing it in. Now, when you're doing this, you want to keep in mind that you want this to be quite flat as well so that your bowl isn't rickety. So I'm just going to really pull that across and make that quite flat. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Now I can use my finger just to flatten it out as well. I mean, you're not really going to see it. Let's be honest, it's on the bottom of the bowl. But I understand that sometimes you just want to be, I'm also going to pull that into the side there as well. So um, I'm going to join as much of this as what I can. I'm going to pull that little bit into the side there. And I'm going to pull the other part in to the other side as well. So you might notice um, that I've joined this here. Um, where's the light? I've joined this here to there, but underneath there, it's still going to need a join. So that's why tomorrow morning when this is solidified a little bit, I'm going to get you to put the board on top of this. I'm going to get you to flip it, take the bowl out, and then you're actually going to be joining so, so gently the other little bits. But for now, we will just join these little guys here. Once again, creating that porous surface putting a little bit of slip in there and then pulling that over. Is anyone watching any good Netflix um, series at the moment? Need a couple of recos actually. Pulling that all the way across. And then just using I'm using my tool to merge that in on the sides as well. Pull that in, use my finger with a little bit of water if I need just to make that smooth like I want it. And again, just check that you're actually, you've pulled enough across that it's going to sit the way you want it to sit and it's not gonna to be too rickety. A little bit more from that guy across as well and then I'm just going to repeat it with my other four how good see this is quite this one's very delicate but it's quite simple pop some of the slip in there that might even be a bit too much clay if you've got too much clay there you can chuck a little bit if you don't need it chuck whatever you don't need it's probably a fair bit that I don't need there Pull that across into the sides. So I'm really ripping this clay into the base so that it's joining properly. Hello, darlings. And then I'm also, once again, joining it to the sides really delicately and then using my finger, a bit of water on the finger if needed, to just massage that out, make sure that it is really quite smooth sides are quite smooth and that's really pulled into the bottom there. 
I'm going to pull a bit more mud across because I might just have a little bit too much mud on the bottom there and I don't want it to be wonky so well I want it to be wonky but I don't want it to like be super rickety so I'm going to shave a little bit of mud off of here take that off of my tool spray it the tiniest bit and use my fingers to massage that clay out again okay sorry i missed what you did when you lifted the bit that you squished down yes i scored again absolutely so i'm just going to do the same motion now so i i'm i'm lifting this back off here and then i'm just going to score again uh, where I want it to join. I've got a bit of mud there and I'm also going to use a little bit of slip still, just a tiny bit. And I can do it with my fingers, but I really like to use the tool because it really pulls the mud across the rest of the shape. Take progress shots of what you're doing, please. I want to see, I want to know, because I can't see your faces right now. I want to know everything you're doing. What's your favorite color? Everything. So, how are people going? I am one, two, three, four. I'm four sausages in. Going all right. Thumbs up if you're up to what I'm up to. Now, when we are leaving this to dry until the morning, we're leaving it in just a cool, dry place. If you're outside at the moment, you wanna bring it inside. Um, you don't wanna leave it out in the elements. You don't, um, the reason you don't wanna do that is because for example, I might have wind coming at my shape from one side, which is gonna wick the moisture out of one side and not the other side. My shape's gonna crack and that's gonna be devastating. Awesome guys. Thanks. Um, and so I want to bring it into just a neutral environment where it can actually dry out pretty evenly. Um, and you want to do that with all the shapes that you're making. Any cracks that appear are probably because they have dried unevenly. That's all. Okay. When you're um, taking your shape in to get fired as well, Always just call ahead. So just let um, your kiln human know that you're coming, what you've got, your BRT mid fire clay, um, and that you want it, uh, you want to have a bisque firing or a biscuit firing. All you're doing is you're turning mud to stone. Um, it's really cheap. So uh, most of the places I go to grit ceramics in Pottsville or Picasso ceramics in Burley. I mean, I live in Byron, so they're kind of my local places. Um, and they're both really quite reasonable. So for example, for something like this, this might cost me $5 um, to, get, uh, to get fired, biscuit fired, which is nothing. It's like a coffee, you know? Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm almost done with the fir first installment of my shape, which is very exciting. And once again, I want to remind you, if you're doing this and you didn't hear me before, you cannot, um, well, you can, but it's going to be a bad time. Uh, you don't want to glaze your shape um, now. You can't do that. You need it to dry out completely, and then you need to take it to get bisque fired. After that, you can glaze your shape. The instructions are on the glaze um, that is on the website, or if you're getting other glaze, the instructions will still be on the packet. Um, and then you can take it in to get fired one last time and then it'll be food safe. You can wash it, put it in the dishwasher, whatever. Um, it'll be completely food safe and um, water, resi or water, not resistant, waterproof rather. Hi everyone. Okay, so I've got my last little sausage that I'm connecting to this little section here. Bit of glue, bit of toothpaste glue, chuck it there. And can I just get a thumbs up of people that are basically finished, like I am? Because then I'm going to explain what you need to do tomorrow. 
when you wake up to your shape. Just a thumbs up if you've finished joining your sausages to your base for your holy bowl. Awesome. You guys are um, really quick. Killing it. Pro. Great. Love your work. So as mentioned, this may be the last isoclation. Um, if people aren't keen on that, then I'll do one more. And that will be in two Fridays time. So if you do want to do that one, just grab your clay sooner rather than later. I mean, you may have some local clay, that's fine. Um, but if you want it, this clay, uh, just grab it. Awesome guys. Almost. Well done, Rachie. You're killing it, mate. Um, yeah, just grab it off the website so that you can have it to you in time because Australia Post is a little bit slow, just a touch slow because they're being inundated with all sorts of orders at the moment. So now what you want to do, um, once you've finished uh, this part of your shape, so you can see, I have completed phase one of two phases of the holy bowl. So you can see um, what we've done here is we have um, joined these parts and we've joined these parts. Um, tomorrow, what we're going to need to do is the reason um, I have this on here uh, is because I want it to kind of have an even base to dry out. Um, you should do some virtual classes a couple of times a year so we can all still play. All right, Rachel, I'll do it. No, I will. Totally, totally. I love doing the live classes because I love you guys talking to me and interacting. It makes me feel like we're doing it as like a family. Um, but I can definitely do the recordings and post them on the website. That's not a worry. Wow, look at all the bloody wind. It's nuts. Um, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to grab another um, surface. So I'm going to grab another board, breadboard, doesn't matter. It just has to be solid. And then I am going to place it on at the top here and I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to flip that over and then I'm going to pull, once that's flipped over, I'm going to pull my bowl out really gently. That should be relatively easy because you've got your... Um, uh, your coverage here so you should be able to pull the bowl out relatively easily um, I always came for another Friday isolation awesome love your work and um, I'll pull that out easily and then what I can do so the parts that are not yet going to be joined are all of the inside parts here so all of these sections here and all of these sections here. So what I'm going to want to do tomorrow morning, the reason I want to do it tomorrow morning is because if I leave it much longer, it's going to become too solid and I'm not going to be able to finish my shape. Um, hi, darling. Uh, I want to do exactly what I just said and then I want to support each edge and I want to pull that up. And again, this isn't now because our shape isn't, um, it's actually not solid enough so tomorrow we want to just start pulling that up really gently and just making sure that you're actually every time you're just supporting it with your hand um the last one i made actually partially split apart so what i did again was i used this i did a bit of scoring added a bit of my um added a bit of my slip pressed it back together and just did the same joining method so if it splits you just use exactly the same joining method as what we've been doing all night long all night long all right so that's been our holy bowl um isoclation tutorial how fun um and i would absolutely adore your um I really want to see them. I want to see what you've made. Please um, tag me, you know, or send it to me. Or just um, some people have just let me know um, their experience. If they liked it, if they didn't, if they wanted anything changed, what they'd like to do in the future, please let me know um, because that's how I can get better and tailor it to what you need. I'm always going to be myself, a little bit dorky. Um, but yeah, I can really do whatever it is you want. 
Um, the only, the last thing that you might want to make sure is you might want to grab a little bit of water on your hands, um, and you might just want to run it kind of over um, what you've made over your over your clay, and you might want to smooth out any little bits that aren't quite um, smooth, just so you can. I mean, you might want it a little bit rough. I don't know. Um, but you just might want to smooth it out a little bit because that's going to impact how it dries. It's going to impact how it fires. All of the things. Groovy. So, yeah, that's been our Mud um, Friday's Isolation Holly Bowl tutorial. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I've had the best time ever with you guys. Um, so this will be uploaded on the website. It takes me a million years to upload with Byron Internet. So I'll have her props done at some stage tomorrow. Um, if your friends or your dad or something wants to make a holly bowl, I don't know. Um, no worries, darling. Um, so I'll have it all uploaded uh, and you can do it whenever. I've got another, I think, three. I've got a mini vase tutorial, a wonky larger vase tutorial, and a boob monk tutorial already up there. And now we'll have holy bowls as well. Um, and yeah, I can make whatever you want. We can do earrings, we can do incense holders. I've got a couple of collaborations coming up at the moment, making different things, which will be a little bit cute. Um, but you know what? Just going to show you extra quick because you should have some clay left over how to make um, a pinch pot so you can do a pinch pot for um, this is a pinch pot right here you can do a pinch pot for jewelry you can do a pinch pot to put dukkha or oil in you can do a larger pinch pot and um, use that as a sippy cup um, so um, I am just rolling some of my scraps into a little ball here and hi darling and I'm pressing my thumb three quarters of the way down just like that in the center of my ball and then I'm just gently pulling from the bottom out and up just ever so gently I'm gonna have a little bit of cracking happening with this little pinch pot that I'm making just going to keep on rotating as I'm doing this. I want to make sure that as I'm pinching that I'm just massaging it. I'm just massaging the clay and twisting it around and I want to keep I want to keep the same thickness actually as I'm doing it. So you can see actually that this is really quite cracked up there. That's really normal. I am I don't want to pinch from the top or that's just going to make my pinch pot really skinny at the top that's why I'm doing it from down here I'm just massaging that I don't want to make it too thin I don't want to make it too wet I just want to massage that out and around and then I'm gonna join the top again just gently with my fingers and I don't really know what this is gonna be used for but I don't know I can put something in that something a bit cute I can even make I can even put a tiny plant in this if I want to and do whatever I want so you can see I'm just massaging the edges here to make my pinch pot so you can do pinch pots on a really quite a large scale if you want to when you get better at it um, you can do quite large pinch pots and you can um, you can see that if I made this on a, on a larger scale I could add a handle to it it could be a really cute sip cup coffee cup for your morning I'm going to use the tiniest bit of water because I'm going to start massaging out some of the cracks on the outside so just keeping in mind that with your scraps you know don't get rid of them you can make stuff heaps heaps good stuff you can roll um you can roll it into a ball and roll it out uh onto a bit of cloth and you can actually just make a little plate if you want to as well which is super cute 
so I have just joined my tiny, tiny little pinch pot. And if I want to, I can just kind of tap it on here a little bit so that it is a bit even on the top. But you don't have to be even, you can do whatever you want. Once again, take all your shapes inside to a neutral environment. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. Flick me a Instagram message. I'll be available to you after this as well in case anything is going wrong. There you go. You've got a cute little, really cute little whatever you want it to be. I don't know what that is. I'll probably put a tiny little plant in it. That'll be cute. Um, okie dokie guys thanks so much for coming and I can't wait to hear from you see your things see what you've done love your work all right bye my loves oh close Sydney hi darlings hi um, I will see you soon can't wait to see your stuff bye